Okay, let's factor 2x cubed minus 20x squared plus 50x. All right, now each one of these contains a 2x, doesn't it? I'll show you what I mean. This is 2x cubed minus 20x squared plus 50x. So they all contain a 2 and they all contain an x. So if you factor 2x out of all these, factor a 2 and an x out, what's left? Here, if one of the x comes out and the 2 comes out, you're left with a couple of x's. Divide this by 2, you're going to get 10, and one of the 2 x's comes out, okay? And then 2 goes into this 25 times, okay? So we're saying you have 2x times x squared minus 10x plus 25. Let me check this a little bit. You have 2x times x squared is 2x cubed. That's right. 2x times negative 10x is negative 20x squared. And 2x times 25 is 50x. So now I have to factor this. Okay, copy it up there and let's factor it. Okay, just for a minute, let's look at what's inside the parentheses. Okay, and then we're going to factor this. So we're going to have x times x. Okay. And there's our template coming up here. And then I'm going to have 1 times 25. Remember how many x squares do we have? We have one of them. 1 times 25 is 25. So I want the factors of 25, and I want them to add up to be this number here. OK? So give me the factors of 25. How about 1 times 25? OK? Now, if we want them to add up to be a negative, OK, then they both have to be negative. Notice a negative 1 times a negative 25 is a plus 25. That's another reason they have to be negative, both of them, because you end up with a negative times a negative is a positive. All right? All right. Now, these don't add up to be 10, though, do they? Negative 1 and negative 25 is a negative 26. So if this had been a negative 26, I'd have my answers. OK? But I don't. Now, what else goes into 25? Well, 2 doesn't. 3 doesn't and 4 doesn't. They don't go into 25 evenly, but 5 does. In fact, negative 5 times negative 5 is a plus 25. And look, negative 5 plus negative 5 is a negative 10. So these are the only factors I have, and the ones that work is negative 5 and negative 5. Put your negative 5 here, negative 5 here. Put the negative 5 here. Put the negative 5 here. So you end up with 2x, which we already had factored out, and you write the x minus 5 twice, or x minus 5 squared.